everyone, are you having problems with squash bugs this year? But let me tell you some ways that I've learned to take care of them and control them. The first way is they like to hide under things and uh, particularly at night. So what you can do is you can take a board or a tile or a flat object and put this near your plants. They will uh, hide under it and then you can squash them or use that to trap them. Another organic way of doing it is you can um, just pick them off, hand pick them. But if you don't want to do that, here's a really neat way of doing it and creative. Vacuum those suckers. What we're going to talk about today though is a, another way which is an insecticidal soap recipe that you'll just spray onto them. So what you need for that is just take a regular, uh, this is one quart, 32 ounce spray bottle. Get a good quality spray bottle with a good, you know, adjustable nozzle. And you're gonna fill that with regular water. And to that, you will take one to two tablespoons of liquid soap. Uh, I believe you can use any kind of liquid soap, but I like this. This is Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap and uh, you want to try a smaller amount at first so you do not burn the plants. I just use one tablespoon. So you're going to mix one tablespoon in with your water and um, you are ready to go. So then you just spray it on the plants and I'm going to now show you how that works. Let's see if we can find some squash bugs here to take care of. can see quite a few of them right here. It needs to be mentioned that the insecticidal soap solution is sprayed directly onto the bugs while they're on the plants. You'll just coat them uh, really thoroughly, holding the spray gun about a few inches away from them. I'm going to be putting it into collecting the bugs and putting it into a plastic bowl so you can see uh, the direct effect of the bugs clearly. And we're going to go ahead and take care of that now after I collect them. Alright everyone, I am back. I have actually collected a few of these bad boys and I have put them in a container. That way I can probably uh, a little easier show you how this solution is going to work and you can uh, see it a lot easier if I do it this way. Please notice that we have all sizes of these critters. The large ones on down to the younger ones. So I'm going to fire away and hit them with my solution. And we'll just wait and see. But as you can see, after about four minutes, they are all pretty much gone. So I would call this a fairly effective solution. And I hope you give it a try and uh, see how it works for you.